This week we're back with more viewer submissions put to the test. Are you any good? Or are your efforts a joke? This episode of Scam School brought to you by Gamefly. Welcome to the show that levels up your social game faster than any mushrooms in the kingdom. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the streets. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we are back with more of the viewer submissions, episodes that you guys have suggested, and we put them to the test to find out if they're any good. And then I get to dance like this. All right, so I got a couple of quick ones here with matches here. I'm gonna take this guy. Do me a favor, tell me when it looks like I'm marking just about the center. I wanna be fair about this. Would you say right about there? Is that the center right there? Uh, yeah. yeah, counting counting the... All right, you guys can decide whether you think it's closer to one side or the other, because I'm gonna set that match there. We gotta have a name for each of our two sides. We got this guy here. What's this guy's name? Jimmy. Jimmy and Veronica, who's Jimmy's arch nemesis? Dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's Di Jimmy and Dick, right? <laughs> <laughs> team Jimmy and Tim, Team Dick, right over here. And finally, we've got the match between them. All right, now you tell me, which side do you want the head to point on? On Jimmy or Dick? <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Is that good? <laughs> sure. Uh, okay, now here's the question. I am going to strike this match, and I'm going to light uh, this center match. We never named the center match. We're going to light Greg right in the middle. Everybody grab some napkins. We're going to make a prediction. Which one is going to burst into flames first? <laughs> the head of Jimmy or the head of, of Dick? <laughs> Say what's going to happen if I light it right there in that mark right there in the middle. All right, I got mine. Everybody got their prediction? Set. OK, question. You might think that I, since I have a dog in the fight, I'm going to try to light it closer to one side or the other. Would it be more fair to have one of you guys light that right in the center? It would not be more fair to have me light it in the center. Oh, because you're going to light it right on this side? <laughs> okay. All right, well, here. You guys, we'll make sure that it's totally fair. There we go. Hold on, hold on. All right, I'm going to try to block out the wind here. Does that look like the middle to you? Roughly. All right. A we got a little bit of wind. Okay, here we go. What the what? Oh. What? Is that what was supposed to happen? Yes, because I wrote my prediction was that neither ah! would <laughs> Let's talk about our BFFs over at Gamefly. Now you know that Gamefly has over 7,000 new and classic titles for all of your major consoles. You can get one to four titles delivered week after week for plans starting at only $15.95. And the best part is there's no late fees, no due dates. Play as long as you want. As soon as you're done, send it back. They'll send you another game. And most importantly, if you really dig the game, then just click keep it. And you get to keep the game. They'll even send you the box and the instructions at a discounted price. Here's the best part. Scam School fans can get a free two-week trial by heading on over to Gamefly.com slash Scam School. Not only will you be getting games for free, but you'll be making us look good and keeping you swimming in free beers. All right, I'm going to try to read some minds. I met, <laughs> you sound impressed now. You will not be impressed later. I got. I, I said, I just reached in my pocket. I got some change here. Do me a favor. Uh, you guys distribute this among yourselves. Go ahead and here, you, here, here, you guys. Every, I just don't want to know who has what. Everybody make sure that you got two coins. Okay. Two? What oh. if I have more than you? All right. So once you, once you have two coins, make sure you have one in your right hand, one in your left hand. Again, don't let me see which one's where. You got it? All right, now. By themselves, the coins are just hunks of metal. They don't mean anything. The only thing we care about them is the fact that they're worth something, right? So think of the value of your coin, right? How much money it's worth, and think of that number, and I want you to hold up your right hand. And do you guys know which coin is in which hand? This is important. Okay, everybody check. Just take a moment and check. Make sure you know which coin is in which hand. All right, think about the value of the coin in your right hand. Okay. And I want you to multiply that value times 11. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. You got it? Yeah. So you got a number in your mind. Think, associate that number with your right hand. You got it? Okay. Now I want you to think of the value of the coin in your left hand. Okay. Hold up, hold up your left hand. There you go. And I want you to hold up your left hand. There you go. And now I want you to take the value of the coin in your left hand and multiply it times 13. Out of all the coins, all the coins are really pretty much worth nothing except for one coin. So there's only one coin I care about, and that is the quarter. 
Got to find the quarter, and I know it is in this hand. Ha ha! Well, that was easy because you knew I can't do math. <laughs> when I said that it was hard, <laughs> no, see, you okay. automatically knew I had the quarter. Couple of things. Couple of okay. Not only did I know when, but I knew which hand as well. So, yes. so what you want to do is uh, you set this thing up. You got to you got to have all pennies and all dimes and one quarter. Okay because pennies are easy to multiply times anything, dimes are easy to multiply right. times anything, but quarters are the one that are a little bit hard. So what you do is, now you can't start off saying, I'm gonna find this quarter, because then they'll make sure not to give away a clue like that. Yeah. So you, you spread them all out, have one in each hand, say, hold your right hand up first, and then you say, you know, think of one, usually it won't be quite as obvious as when Veronica was just like, well, oh, screw oh, math. No, <laughs> Multiplying by 25 is too hard. <laughs> <laughs> and so usually you'll get something where people will go like, uh, you know, it'll be more subtle than that, right? But then now you know, and, and oftentimes it won't happen until the second one, but at some point there's going to be some kind of pause and then you're going to figure it out. And that's how you know out of everything. Now you'll notice I didn't announce what it was I was looking for until after I already had so figured I gave, out. Basically I gave like the biggest tell of all You gave time. a pretty big tell. Okay. <laughs> but on principle, now obviously sometimes somebody's going to be really obvious, in which case you might have to figure out another way to go with it. But as far as a principle goes, how do you guys like that one? That was it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't say... try it at like MIT. Yeah. <laughs> right. $2.75. Next question. <laughs> All right. I got one more for you guys. This is something that was sent in by Scott Cram. He runs the Gray Matters blog. This guy sends in all of my favorite material. This was an old Martin Gardner puzzle. And we'll see if you guys can settle this out. A man came home from the hardware store and his wife says, did you get them? He says, yes, I got 500 for $6. And she says, oh good, so they were only $2 a piece. What did he buy? 200 is divisible by three. Two packs or something. <laughs> so he bought three five-third pound bags of rice. <laughs> I was thinking like sand or rice. Now this is a good one because the puzzle itself is engaging enough that you're like, well, there's gotta be something. And you can sit on your ass and wait patiently until finally you're willing to sell the answer to the riddle for just a, a beer. Well, you guys, you, you gonna buy me a beer for the answer? And I feel like it's one of those painfully obvious things. I think it's something in pounds. Is it something in pounds? Nope. I don't think it's something in pounds. No. 500 crabs from three $2 whores. <laughs> He didn't mention that he got them from the hardware store. Oh, now this is good. I did mention that it was a hardware store. He didn't mention that. I, I, I did all three times. Well, I know, <laughs> but he came from the hardware store, but things did not have. Yes, he may have met a $2 whore on his way home. <laughs> <laughs> three $2. Not what I was getting at, but <laughs> you've disproved my theory. I, I, okay, I for okay, one, am ready for yeah, just, I apologize. Yeah. Like, the end the torture. Yes. <laughs> then this is the moment you want to get people to, and then you can reveal that what he bought was house numbers, because they live at 500. Oh, that's good. He got 500 for $6. Right. Isn't that great? Yeah, that's Dude, thank you guys so much. This is good intel. Maybe it'll turn into a scam school someday. Good job, team. Now, as always with these testing episodes, it's up to you guys to figure out how to turn these half-baked gems and turn them into pure gold. And I want to hear about your success stories and failure stories. So join us over at the forums at revision3.com slash scam school, where you can see all of our episodes right back to episode one. If you're doing the Twitter thing, you can follow the show at twitter.com slash scam school. And of course, I want you guys to continue to send me all these ideas at brian at revision3.com. Hey, do me a favor, you and me, let's get closer. Let's get more interactive. If you want to have a one-on-one -on -one session, join me in a hangout, then why don't you do the Google Plus thing? Head on over to gplus.to slash schwood, and you and me can be BFFs. Next week, don't forget to join us because we're going to learn how to turn your VHS movies into just as good as high-definition 3D ones by smearing Vaseline over your eyes. But first, I'm gonna go have to get a moist towelette. That sounds gross. I don't even wanna think about that. <laughs> <laughs>